Hey guys, I want to really quickly show you a new patina that I forced on this utility knife of mine. Now, I'm sure you've probably seen this knife before. I've had it for a while. And it had a patina on it already, but because of some aggressive use, the patina had mostly worn off. So what I did is I took really fine steel wool, took as much of the patina off as I could, and then I took the rest off using a buffer wheel with white compound. And it got it all nice and polished and everything. And then I reapplied the patina to it. Now, what I did is I took a cotton ball and I took brown mustard. And I dabbed it all over the blade on every, every part except I kept it away from the very edge, which I wanted to stay mirror polished. And what that does is mustard tends to do like a dark gray to black type of, of patina. And so I did it once. I did it so let it sit for an hour, maybe a little more. I cleaned it off and then I redid it again. And I ended up doing that three times over the top and in between each time, really cleaned it, scrubbed it with hot water and soap, and then let it dry. And um, it turned out a lot like this, but it was it was kind of like a very dark gray, um, but no really other colors in it. And I wanted it to have a bit of other color. Um, but I don't know if you can see it. What I then did is I put over the top of that tomato sauce, uh, specifically ragu. And what tomatoes will do is they'll patina it, but they'll give it a bit of color. And so I, I don't think it's picking up on this camera, probably because it's too uh, too small. But it's actually got a lot of purples and blues and a bit of almost like a brass color, yellowish uh, color in it. For, um, but it, it looks really nice. And um, I like how how dark it is with the with the mirror polish edge. And in fact, I think it's because of the lighting. It's actually a lot darker in person than it looks like on camera. But also you get a lot of a lot of other colors, specifically blue. But hopefully you like this guys. I, I really I really like it. I like forcing a patina on my blades. Because what a patina is, is it's actually itself a form of rust. Uh, but it's like when you blew a firearm, it's the type of rust that keeps iron oxide, the, the red stuff that forms pitting, from growing on your blades. Um, so y you'll still have that problem, but what it does is it just kind of lessens it. So as long as you keep it with a patina, you keep it nice and oiled, and especially if it had a mirror polish on it before, then it's it's going to stand up to a lot of abuse and even some carelessness. So hopefully you like this. I know I do. And as always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.